What's up? I'm Jonathan and welcome to Maker Tales, where I'm sharing my maker journey to help you go further in yours. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to never miss an opportunity to keep making. In this video, well, I'm about to make a whole bunch of MDF builds. And I looked up online well, how the best way is to seal this, because I just want to spend as little time as possible doing as few coats as I can. And I couldn't get a consensus. Everybody kept telling me to do this or do that. So I thought I would go ahead and find this out for us. So what I've got in front of me is we have no sanding and lightly sanded. We have control, which is just going to be paint and paint. We're gonna have a 50-50 of tie bond two with water. We're gonna have MDF sealer, just a cheap one to see how it fares. And then we're gonna have 50-50 cheap PVA. So along with that, we're also gonna be doing edges here, down here, because there's a big difference between the surfaces and the edges, and I want to see what's going to be the best middle ground to be able to deal with both of these at the same time. So let's go find that out. Now that we know the plan, let's recap as I apply the first coat. The top row is unsanded and the bottom row is lightly sanded with 320 grit sandpaper before every coat. Unsurprisingly, one coat does not do much on the control. What was interesting is that the cheap MDF sealer dried by far the fastest, shortly followed by the paint. After a quick sand of the bottom row, let's apply the second coat. This time around, they all get a layer of paint. Something I found quite interesting is that at this point, you can already see the textures developing in the top row. The cheap MDF sealer is the smoothest one, and the Tybon 2 mixture is the roughest one. Once this coat dried, I really felt that the plain paint control was starting to really look the part. On to the third coat. I was really looking to make this my final coat, as once again, I'm looking for the least amount of work for a reasonable finish. From here on, it's a little hard to show on camera as it's all white, but I've done my best by underexposing the white. The control, the one with just paint, was no longer looking as white as the others. Once dried, it was clear that the just paint control needed a few more layers to be as white as all the rest. One of the concerns I saw online of using PVA or tight bond was that it would leave the paint feeling spongy, gluey, or rubbery. To test this, I have done a scratch test before adding any protective sealer or coat on top. Once all the scratch tests were done, I was surprised that the tight bond felt like it was the strongest, being able to keep a hold of even just a little bit of paint compared to the rest. The control and the cheap MDF sealer felt identical, and the PVA was close to identical too, but on closer inspection, it looks like it does clump up a little bit like a rubbery effect, but while scratching, it feels just the same as the others. Now, taking a look at the edges, honestly, they all performed almost identical here. I would say if I had to pick a winner, it would be the MDF sealer sanded between each layer that gave a very nice smooth result on the edges, closely followed by the tight bond. Now, if all you're looking to do is paint MDF and not apply any protective coating or clear coat on top, the winner in my eyes is the cheap MDF sealer. It applies the easiest and by a hair is the whitest after only two coats of white paint, closely followed by the tight bond too. I would say that if you're looking for a smooth finish while using the Type Bond 2, you would have to sand between each layer, as it is extremely textured if you don't. As my plans involve using MDF as a high wearing surface, I'm going to be using a water-based polyacrylic sealer. I do wonder if the first sealer for the MDF will affect how this top coat is going to be applied on the final results. And just to clear up, this polyacrylic is pretty much the UK equivalent of Minwax polyacrylic. On the first coat, it does look like the control absorbs a lot more. If I had to put a number on it, I would say close to three times the amount as the other tests. The one that I felt absorbed the least was the PVA, closely followed by the tight bond on the first coat. When it came to the second coat of polyacrylic, once again, I felt that the control absorbed a lot more than all the others. However, all the sealers felt relatively the same this time round. After applying the final and third coat of polyacrylic, the final results are here. By far the control, which is just paint, is the one that needs the most work. I would say you would need to add at least two more layers of paint to get it to the same relative whiteness as the others, and maybe a layer more of polyacrylic to get it to the same sturdiness. Having said that, it's one of the smoothest finishes on the sanded row. 
Coming in at a close second is the MDF Sanded Sealer. It seems to me that a cheap MDF sealer is the way to go. It dried fast, was the least amount of coats of paint to be the brightest, and took on the top coat of polyacrylic very easily from the second coat onwards. And in a pinch, I would reach for the PVA if I'm looking for a smooth finish, and the Tide Bond if I'm looking for a textured finish. And with those results, that answers all the questions I had about finishing MDF. A big thanks to my Patreon. If you enjoyed and found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel, please join me on Patreon to see the behind the scenes and what I'm getting up to next. Keep making and let the quest continue.